Hey guys, it's Gaz here. Welcome back to a brand new video. So in this video, I'm going to be covering all of the Dark Ops challenges for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Zombies. Now let's get straight into this. So this first challenge is actually called Social Distancing. Ironic, I know. So it's actually reach round 20 without getting hit. This is a difficult one. Honestly, my best opinion and you know my best advice I could give for this one is if you start the game with an assault rifle and you also have a friend and just let that friend protect you for the entire time because this challenge is no easy ride i tried it three or four times got to about round 13 round 14 game over so this one definitely isn't an easy one it's probably the most difficult one out of the whole list but if you keep sticking to it keep working towards it you will eventually get it so the next one is called good enough and that is reach round 20 using only your starting loadout and no upgrades. That one's a super easy one. You can either, you know, just use a regular gun or if you go in with a knife, because that is just a one hit kill. So the next one is called Harbinger of Doom. And that is kill 50 enemies with single support. The easiest way to do this is if you get to like round 20, you know, round 30, and you just call out a chopper gunner, you will easily get this one straight away. So this next one's called Invincible, and it's actually reaching round 30 without going down. You know, it is what it is, you've got to reach round 30 without going down. There is no easy way of doing these. My Probably the best, you know, advice to give you is if you do laps in, in the yard, in the spawn room. If you've got the window weapon, you'll have no problem whatsoever at all. So this next one actually requires about 130 to 150,000 points in your game, which is quite a lot considering you don't get a lot of points in this game very often and this one's called box addict and it's actually you need to buy every single weapon from the mystery box in a single game but this does exclude the ray gun and the the die shockwave so you don't actually have to get those two so as long as you purchase the box it just keeps spinning it and spinning it eventually you will get this and it will take a long time but it will take about 150,000 points in the game. So just stick with it and you will eventually get this one. So this next one is called Arm to the Teeth. This one's quite simple. It just requires you to get about 100,000 points in total. And you're just going to fully upgrade two guns. So your, your primary and your secondary. Make sure they're fully upgraded. Also chuck a, a little ammo mod on there. It might be dead wire. It might be uh, brain rot turned or whatever you want to call it. And you also need to buy all six perks in one game. If you're going for high rounds anyway... You're probably going to be wanting to do this anyway. So if you're going to go for high rounds, probably do this on your journey. So this next one is called the Anvil. And this is to exfil a game only using melee attacks. So my my best advice to this one is take a friend in with you. You just go in there with your knife and your friend can kill with whatever they like to use. As long as you just keep your knife out, you won't have a problem with this one. So... Just make sure you don't put, pick up anything or even upgrade your knife because you never know, it might, you know, it might trigger the, the challenge to not pop up. So just be careful with that one. So this next one's called Checkmate. And it's play every single trial in Die Machine in a single game. So there's about 26 trials. They take about a minute and a half each. So as long as you're buying every trial, as soon as that minute and a half ends, you shouldn't have a problem with it. So they're going to start at about 500 points and probably finish up with your trials around 2500 points so if you just keep sticking with this do it on the early rounds this is a nice easy one to do and you also have a chance to get the die shock wave if you keep racking them up and um, saving up for that legendary evil unleashed so this was to complete the easter egg best advice for this one is go onto youtube there's plenty of tutorials on there and that is probably the best way you're going to be able to do this one just to stick with it try it. it might take you a few attempts but you will get this one so this next one here is called Another Round, and that is to reach round 100. So this one actually requires a bit of a grind. The, I'd probably say do it solo. That might sound pretty difficult to you, but do it solo because obviously if you have one person, you're going to be spawning in about 18,000 zombies. But if you have like three people in your game trying to do this at the same time, it's going to be like 30,000 zombies altogether. And it would be like solo is about four or five hours and... Um, maybe co-ops five six hours so solo is probably the quickest way but either way it is a long grind to do so try and try and find out uh, the best strategy for you probably running running yard unless there is a cheeky little glitch you can do to uh, make this a bit easier 
So these next ones uh, are in Dead Ops Arcade. And so your first one is to defeat the Mamaback, and this is called Pristine Pelt, which is like round 64 on Dead Ops Arcade. It's the most difficult thing I've ever tried. I'm not, I'm never going to do it, but that that is how you do it. You just have to get to round about 64 in the Dead Ops Arcade. So you're going to need to play co-op with this one. This next one is King of Silverbacks. It says in Dead Ops Arcade, earn a cumulative, cumulative, C cumulative, <laughs> C cumulative. It's, it says earn a high score of nine 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 nine, and that is overall across you know every single game. You don't have to do that in one game. This can take you ten games, a hundred games. You just have to get that number right at the end. I need to find out what that word says. That's really bugging me. And your last challenge you need to do is kill one million zombies. So you're not going to be doing this one in a day. I've worked it out. If you're getting about 2,500 kills a day, it will take you somewhere like a year to do. So <laughs> you need to have a big grind. And you basically need to be playing daily, getting a bunch of kills. Probably every time you play the game, you need to be getting about 5,000 kills. Then it will be... You should be able to do it in about six months, but either way, you're not going to be able to do this in a day. And um, just keep going with it. This one will naturally pop up if you keep playing the game. So that is all the Dark Ops challenges for Black Ops Cold War Zombies. If you have any of these challenges, make sure you let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, go down there, drop a little comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching, I'm Gaz, and I'm out. Peace.